hello. Uh, we're Team 19, the Tactile Braille Display. Uh, my name is Zach Johnston. Uh, I did the Bluetooth drivers, uh, the MVDA drivers that function with all the peripherals, and I helped with the hardware design as well. My name is Evan Weatherington, and I'm primarily in charge of the software side of the uh, project. I'm in charge of uh, communication between the processors, uh, writing up to the LEDs, and communication with the computer. Hello, I'm Chris Baldridge, and my, my role was to uh, do the uh, circuit board layout and design, as well as getting all of the uh, acquiring all of the components for those boards and getting them populated on the boards. Hello, my name is Daniel Mendoza. My main primary role was to, uh, to import all the electronics and all the hardware pieces into the software called SolidWorks. Also, the renderings and the graphics were done all by me, and I also helped populating boards uh, and helped with the hardware. So these are the current actuators that are on the market for Braille cells. And because these are so bulky, the displays that are currently on the market can only be read one line at a time. So if you can imagine trying to read a long text document or even a web page one line at a time, it would be very tedious. So what Polymer Braille is setting out to do is create actuators that get rid of all this wasted space down here and are just the size of the cell. So then they can stack multiple cells and have multiple lines for, e for graphic use and for reading large tech documents. Um, so we have a keyboard and a scroll wheel. So I can start typing on the keyboard. And the letters change. So how we implemented that, we basically have three in separate environments. We have the computer environment, which is running NVDA, which is our text-to-speech software and the text-to-braille software. That gets transmitted over Bluetooth to the motherboard, which has two microcontrollers on it, one that controls the peripherals and one that gets the information in. And then the one that gets the information in also writes that information out via uh, I2C communication bus to the interface board. And then the LED cards take that information and they turn on the corresponding LEDs to represent the Braille characters. I believe that our, the greatest challenge for our group was to um, actually keep every single aspect of the process uh, up to date within each other. Since this uh, project required a lot of hardware and software communication, we have to be up to date in every single uh, aspect of the project, including dimensions, including uh, technicali technicalities such as, so such as software and hardware um, components, uh, and just the overall structure of the redimension prototype. All right, some of the project management skills that we've learned was, is that one of the things that we ended up using was um, a software called GitHub, which allows us to uh, pull down any changes that were made on different aspects of the project that one of the other members in the group might have made. So what we had to learn is, is we had to learn to make sure that we, that we were allowing all of the members of the group to keep up with any change that we have made, otherwise they might end up, have, end up uh, fixing something that we've already fixed and then next thing you know you're not really making any progress anymore. So uh, it also allowed us, we also ended up having to learn how to actually set deadlines so that, so that we actually had something like drawn, drawn in the sand that we had to get it done by this date and that actually allowed us to accomplish a lot more than if, you, than if we had just said uh, we'll finish it by the time by the time we have to meet up next or, or something along those lines. Giving that actual hard date actually helped uh, the project to progress further than originally uh, expected or originally um, uh, envisioned it going.